What's up, my fellow collectors? Today we're going to be taking a look at several custom Spider-Man action figures and some symbiotes. First up, we have a Spider-Mage. This particular figure I made from a Morbius Marvel Legends. I threw on some Doctor Strange hands and 3D printed an Iron Spider-Man head and then did some custom painting. As you can see, I put on a Marvel Legends Magneto cape from the red and black version. All articulation in good working order, and it was an acrylic paint. I used testers. The most difficult part was the silver in the neck. All right, next we have whatever you want to call this. I 3D printed this head and thought I gotta make a custom from it. So I threw some of the electric guy with a uh, spare legends I had rolling around, slapped on a spider logo, and this is the result. And I thought a guy like this needs a cape, a little bit of dragon armor, and of course, a sword. You tell me what his powers would be. He just looks like a sick Spider-Man in my opinion. Next up, we have my version of Spider-Knight. One of my favorite things about this figure is the head. I actually painted it first, rather than doing the custom and then the head. I used Taskmaster, lower arms, and legs which I fabricated on, and then I painted on the spider logo as you can see with the flat red on top of a flat black. I also did that fancy shield and threw on a white cape. The shield can work either way, you can have it up and down like that, or flip it and have it like that. Personally, I like red on top. I like the cape, especially, but the legs here I had to fabricate. I had to sand them down so they'd fit right and there wouldn't be this clunky mess. The thing I love about the cape is it resembles spider webbing, and so it kind of looks like uh, 2099 Spider-Man in my opinion. But either way, this is one of my favorite Spider-Man customs to date. Well, now let's get into the symbiotes. First up, we have Slaughterhouse. Now I used the top of a Marvel Select Venom and the bottom of a Marvel Select Carnage. The head was the whoop-de-whoop -whoop head that came off the second version of Carnage, and I just fabricated it to fit like normal. Those are the Carnage fangs or wings, and the legs are a darker metallic gunmetal, I guess you could say, with some light blue ingrained into the details. Now, as you can see, as I get a little closer, I did that blue just to make it pop and make it more three-dimensional, I guess. But next up, let's take a look at one of my other favorite customs, which is Scorpion Venom. Now this is the regular Marvel Legends Scorpion Venom, but I gave it a paint job and I also threw on some additional details, like these claws. The thing I love about them is they're articulated. They came from a AEW wrestling figure, the Crow, when he was monsterized mixed with a scorpion. I also took his feet, as you can see here, and put them on the Marvel Legends. It just really rounded out and completed the whole scorpion look for me. Then, of course, I painted him that lime green, and I even put a little bit of yellow on the tip of that tail to represent venom or toxin or toxicity, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, and that is my scorpion venom. Definitely someone you wouldn't get on the wrong side of. All right, next up, we have... Psycho. Now, I got the idea from Miss Penguin's Peculiar Children. I'm sure I said that wrong, but they had the creatures with no eyes, so I thought that would look really cool. So I went ahead and did this with this custom carnage. As you can see, I started out with a turquoise and did an overlay of blue and a little bit of white in the details. Then I had it merge into a purple. I like the idea of touching it up with some white to give the blue some contrast on the top. Of course, all articulation is in good working order. And then I also attach these tentacles here. What I like about these tentacles is they're articulated. I got them from Alien Racers, which is a really old show, and they made some action figures. I forget the name of the action figure these came from, but it was one of my faves, especially back then. Anyways, they can go up, down, all around, and they can bend as you see. So, I think they're a really nice touch. The other thing that I really enjoy about this figure is how the articulation works in the abdomen 
and he can really bend down and do a nice little scream face. But looking at these legs, I kind of merged the blue into the purple. I didn't want it to be a straight line. I wanted it to be somewhat of an ombre, an even flow. Well, that's Psycho for you guys. And last but not least is Demon Angel Venom. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite versions of Venom. I got these horns from a Spawn McFarlane figure that was made back in the early 2000s. And then, the wings I got from a action figure that was actually not uh, like a Marvel Legends or McFarlane. Uh, it was from a, a female from a music video. But anyways, I thought these wings would look really awesome on a Venom character. And I know we got a Venom character coming out with some dragon wings, but I thought the angel wings were a nice touch. Plus, I love how well these are articulated and how far they stretch out. It's almost like he could use the wings as a weapon to slash and stab and attack. Anyways, they also have somewhat of a webbing effect, like the uh, spider knight. So I thought that was a nice touch as well. And the nice thing is they just connect at these little ball hinge points on the back, in which I fabricated into the back of the venom there and used some uh, uh, quick dry putty to permanently attach. And if you want, you can make the wing shorter. Um, you can kind of do whatever you want with them. But the paint job was pretty basic. I did a basic blue that merged into the black on the legs and then did some red highlights along the spider logo and the veins popping out. That being said, this Venom head was one of my favorites, and I couldn't imagine not using it on a custom figure. Oh, and then I think you guys just noticed he has a hole in his butt. He did have a dragon tail, but I ended up having to move that. Uh, well, I didn't move it as much as my son lost it, but anyways, that's Demon Angel Venom. Hope you enjoyed watching. Take care.